What's up guys? How are we doing? So I figured let's try something new. Every Tuesday we're gonna make it TRX Tuesday. I'm gonna go over three to four movements to give you a better understanding of how to use a TRX and actually what it's there for. So today's first movement is gonna be a TRX mountain climber. Now there's a few ways to do this. The first way, we're gonna actually drive one knee at a time directly to our chest while maintaining a push-up position, really squeezing the core. When we become a little bit more comfortable, we can then drive both knees at the same time. Now maintaining the exact same position, drive both knees to the chest, really squeeze the core. You're gonna be feeling this one tomorrow, I promise you that. Now when you become a little bit more comfortable and you can do say 10 to 15 reps, move on to what's known as the TRX pike. So for a TRX pike, all that we're gonna do, we're gonna pike our hips up and drive our feet to our upper body. Now instead of our knees trying to drive, you notice how we keep ourselves in a straight line. I have a straight line between my shoulders to my hips and I have a straight line between my hips and my ankles. Now the last movement that we're gonna go over today is gonna be known as a hamstring curl. Now I know we've all done these before on a machine. Give it a try on a TRX and just let me know how you feel. Now what you wanna do in this position, as you can tell, my hips are raised and my glutes are off the ground. Maintain that for the entire movement. By maintaining that position, we drive our heels directly to our glutes and really emphasize on the squeeze. All right guys, give these four exercises a try, four rounds, 10 reps a piece, and let me know in the comment section down below how you feel. And as always guys, Faint.